Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To. So in this video, we'll be showing you Instagram Threads, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss. So let's start with how to use Threads app from Instagram. So if you're not aware yet, Threads has been released and is a direct competitor of X, which is previously Twitter. So yeah, so how do you actually use Threads? So Threads is actually connected to Instagram. It means that you can access Threads via the Instagram mobile application. Now from here, let's go ahead and open up Instagram and we want to go to our profile. Now in our profile, the only thing that you need to do is you need to click on the tree dash that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, you'll see the option for Threads. So just click on Threads and it's going to redirect you to Play Store where you'll be able to download Threads. So in this case, let's just click on install and wait for this to install. Now, once you've installed Treads in your mobile device, go ahead and just click on open or go ahead and open up the Treads mobile application. Now from here, it's going to redirect you to the main homepage where you'll be able to log in. So since we already have Instagram and to in our account here or in our mobile device, you'll be able to use your Instagram account for Treads. But if you want to switch to another account, just click on the switch accounts and you'll see all of the accounts that you have for Instagram here and use that for a logging in. But in this case, we just want to use our Instagram account here. Now from here, it's going to prepare your Treads account. It's going to ask a few things about yourself. So here it's going to ask about your name, your bio, and, and any links that you have on your account or about your profile. But if you want to import this from your Instagram account, go ahead and just click on import from Instagram. It's going to basically uh, add those links or details into your Treads profile. From here, just click on continue. And from here, it's going to ask you if you want to public to publicize your uh, account here or make it public or even make it private. So the same thing, it's a kind of similar on how threads work. It's similar to Instagram, Facebook, but the cool thing about this one, it's actually a text-based uh, mobile application or social media platform. But the functionalities on how things works is exactly the same thing. So in this case, we want to make our account here a, pu a public profile. Just click on continue. And from here, it's going to give you suggestions on who might want to follow on this uh, account of yours. So in this case, if you want to follow any users or actually here, I actually recognize one of the accounts here. So these are the accounts that I'm currently following on Instagram. So you might want to also follow them since they are actually also on threads. So if you want to go ahead, just click on the follow button and you'll be able to follow those users. So in this case, it's just follow uh, a bunch of users here. But once you're uh, done, just click on follow all. Or if you want to escape that, go ahead. But in here, we also have the uh, section where it actually explains how threads work. So it's going to give you a few information there. But if you want to read further, go ahead. But let's just click on join threads. Now here, this is actually the default UI when you open up uh, Treads here once you've locked in. So as you can see, by the first look of Treads here, it's quite similar to Instagram since this is directly connected to Instagram. But yeah, the general use here is we have the the icons that you see at the very bottom. So the home or the uh, house icon there that represents your home page we're in. Those are the suggested posts or the posts uh, posted by other users that you're currently following. So yeah, so we also have the search function here where you'll be able to follow a few people. So if you're currently uh, if you imported your account from Instagram, it's also going to suggest a few accounts here that you have interacted previously. So you could go ahead, but you could also search for accounts here. So in this case, if you want to search for like, for example, specific users here, just search, enter their name here, go ahead and click on their profile. And from here, you'll be able to see different uh, information about their account. So you have threads, replies, and reposts. If you want to follow them, you just click on follow. Also, if you want to mention them, just click on mention and you will be able to create your thread while mentioning them. But we'll be going further on how to create your thread here uh, later on. So let's just discard this one. But yeah, so this is how you visit a specific profile here. So if you click on the Instagram icon that you see at the top there, it's going to redirect you to their Instagram account. So let's just go back real quickly. Now in our Treads account here, we just want to go back. 
So in here at the very bottom center of your screen, that's where you actually be able to create your thread here. So uh, like uh, what I mentioned before, threads is a social media platform and it's text based. So you could start creating your text here or your threads or, but the good thing about this one, it's kind of like Twitter, but you could also add your videos and photos, which is really cool. But yeah, but the good thing about threads is it's actually connected to Instagram. So unlike Twitter, which is not directly connected to Instagram, so threads is directly connected. So if you want to use uh, those two in con conjunction of each other, you could go ahead. But yeah, yeah, and here you could just basically start saying what you want to say, like for example, hey, or if you have a, a peace of mind on, on something, you want to discuss something, you could go ahead. If you want to tag someone, make sure that you just include the at symbol here and just input their name or their username here. So in this case, you can see recently followed someone here, which is rents. You could go ahead and just tag them in your post. Yeah, if you want to upload your images, just click on the attachment button there and it's going to ask permissions to access your media, just click on allow and from here it's, you'll be able to see photos that you can actually attach, photos and videos I mean. So let's just go back here. So if you want to post this one, just click on the post button you see at the bottom right and you'll be able to start posting that one. Now the next button that we'll be seeing here is actually the heart icon there so in here this is where we will be able to see all of the activity that you did or you received so if someone actually follows you or someone actually replied to your post or even mentioned you here but since we're in the all section or in the all tab here it is is all of the all of the activities that recently happened but if you want to see only of the mentions or only replies that happened recently just click on that section and you'll be able to view those activities now in here the last section that we could actually see here is our account so in our profile this is where you'll be able to edit your profile even share your profile and do a lot of but or a bunch of stuff that you could do for your account so as you can see we recently posted something on our account as you can see we just said hey so yeah so this is also where you see your post so we also have the reply section here and even repost for a specific post now in here we could go ahead and click on edit profile and from here again you could change your bio add links or even set your account to private if you want to but yeah in here you also have the two dash lines at the top right when you click on that it's going to give you settings so this one is quite similar to instagram you could go ahead and just choose the option that you want to change if you want to follow and invite friends notification your likes privacy accessibility but those are the uh, kind of the advanced stuff but uh, we're just discussing the basic stuff here so in here yeah so that's how you actually use threads so this one is actually pretty easy and really simple it's quite similar to instagram because of the functionalities are quite familiar if you've used Instagram before. But yeah, and that's about it. How to upload photos and videos on Treads. Now in here, the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up Treads. So I'll be showing you a few things here for you to actually post your photos and videos. So let's just click on the post button that you see at the bottom center of your screen. And from here, as you can see, we could start posting our threads. But how do you actually add your photos or videos? So you actually have the option to do that by clicking on the icon that is a paper clip there. Just click on it. And from here, you'll be redirected to your gallery. But as you can see, if you deny the access of your gallery from your Treads account here, you won't be able to see your photos. So to fix that, you just need to click on allow access. From here, it's going to ask you allow Treads to access photos, media files on your device. Just click on allow. Now from here, it's going to give you access to all the videos that you have, even photos. So in this case, we want to use this video here. Just click on done. And from here, this is the video that we just added. Now from here, you could go ahead and edit this as much as you can and basically start posting this one. And I would like to say, just say cute, just click on post. And when we go back into our profile, 
as you can see it's going to take some time to upload this one since this is a video it might take a few seconds or even a few minutes just yeah but just wait for this one and you'll be able to post it here and that's about it so that's how you post a photo or a video on threads how to add another account on threads so typically when we open up our threads account here it's going to automatically lead us to our account that we have currently locked in so how do you actually add another account in threads so currently when we click on the buttons here you won't see any option to quickly switch over to another account in threads so why is that so currently threads is actually directly under instagram meaning the account that you're currently logged in on instagram is the account that will be opened up in threads so how do you quickly uh, 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 switch over to a different account? So in this case, we need to log in, log out from Treads and re-log in to the account that we want to use for Treads. So in this case, let's just click on the toolbar icon to see at the top right and just click on log out. Now here, just click on log out and it's going to log out from our account. Now from here, you'll see the name of the Instagram that you want to log in using your uh, Instagram account to log in into Treads. We also have the option there that says switch accounts. So in this case, we are currently going to use our Instagram account to log into a different Treads account. So currently, Treads and Instagram is directly connected. So your Instagram account is connected to your thread, so you just need to choose the account that you want to switch the, uh, quickly switch over. So as you can see, we have multiple accounts here. So if you don't see the account that you want to add into your threads here, just click on log in to another Instagram account and you'll be led into this section here will be able to ask or they'll be asking you the username and the password for the Instagram account that you want to use to log in into threads. So another way for you to add another account into your Threads account here to open this up, you could go ahead and go to Instagram, go to your profile, and you could just click on the name that you see at the top left, and you'll see an arrow next to it. Just click on it. And from here, you'll be able to choose an account that you want to use as well as adding a new account. Now from here, let's just quickly go back into Threads. And in Threads, you can go ahead and log in, choose an account or account. So in this case, I'm just going to choose another account here. And I'll be able to use that Instagram account to log in into my Threads account. So that's how you add another account on Threads. And that's about it. How to change Threads username. Now, first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Threads on our mobile phone. Now in here, we want to go to our profile and from here, we want to click on edit profile. So in this case, we'll be able to see our username here. So whenever we click on a username here, it's going to give us the notification that your name and username are synced with Instagram and can only be changed there. So meaning you could only change your username via Instagram. So Treads is actually connected to Instagram with Treads as a sub application that is under Instagram. So if you have a Treads account, your Treads account is directly linked into your Instagram account. So for any changes on your username, then you have to change or update your Instagram account as well. So let's go ahead and just click on the X at the top left. And from here, we want to click on our Instagram, which is created at the top right next to our profile icon. Now here, we what we need to do is we need to click on edit profile. And from here, we'll be able to change our username. So once you've updated your username, the username for your Treads account will also be updated. So as of this moment, there is no way for us to individually change the username for our Treads account and to basically separate these two accounts here. So this is the best thing that we could do right now. So if you really want to change your Treads username, then you'll ha also have to update your Instagram username. And that's about it. How to remove Treads badge 
from Instagram bio. Now in here, the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up our Instagram mobile application. Now from here, we want to go to our profile, which is located at the bottom right of your screen. Now in here, when you view your account or your profile here you will see a section just underneath your profile icon there that says a add icon there and some numbers and an m or plus or it actually depends on the account they have or whenever when you actually signed up for threads so when we click on that you will see this option here it's going to say you're the number 100 million plus to join threads so from there uh, you can see it's going to inform you whenever you actually join so currently i'm the 100 million plus to join the threads so you might be a lot sooner like for example 90 million depends actually on the user now from here it's going to say this badge that you followers know that your threads and send them to your profile if they have the app so in this case this badge is actually showcasing uh, threads so they want to actually promote threads to other people whenever you visit your account here they will be able to be redirected to your uh, threads account if you have one here so in this case they could just click on view threads profile and you'll be redirected to the account itself but I, as we said before, if you want to remove this badge, you just need to click on the hide badge option. So in here, it's going to ask you, are you really sure? So you can't add it back to your profile once you remove it. So be wary when you actually remove this one, you will no longer be able to be uh, add this back into your account so if you're really sure just click on the remove badge option there and it's going to basically be removed from your account but it will no longer it or the option to actually return uh return it back into your account will no longer be available how to remove treads account now, first thing that we want to do here is we want to open up our Treads mobile application. Now, from here, we want to go to our profile, which is located at the bottom right of our screen. Now, in here, at the top right of your screen, you see a two-bar icon there next to the Instagram icon. So, just click on that. And from here, you'll be redirected to your settings. Now, in here, what we need to do is we want to click on account and you'll see the option that says the activate profile. So in here, just click on the activate profile. So I do have to inform you regarding the activating your profile. So deleting and deactivating your profile is not the same thing. Those two are actually very different. So deactivating your profile here just means that you want to basically just hide your profile. So it's not necessarily, de necessarily deleting, but you'll be hiding your profile from other people. Now from here, you can just basically just click on the activate threads of profile here. So that being said, the only thing that we could do here on our threads account or profile is to deactivate our threads profile. But if you deactivated your Instagram account as well, then your uh, Treads account will also be deactivated. So Treads and Instagram are actually uh, one or actually it's a trade as one entity. So basically Treads is connected to Instagram and Instagram is connected by Treads. But the only difference here is Treads is actually under Instagram. So if anything that you do here on their Treads will not affect your Instagram account. But then again, if you really want to delete your Treads account here, then you'll have to also delete your Instagram account. So that's the only difference here. But for now, the best thing that we could do right now in here to basically uh, remove our Treads account is just basically deactivating it here without affecting our Instagram account. Now in here, just click on the activate threads profile. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Just click on deactivate, fully commit on deactivating your profile. Now, once you've deactivated your profile, you just need to go ahead and re-log in again if you want to reactivate it again in some of the, sometime in the future. But yeah, from there, once you click on deactivate, your account will now be deactivated and uh, your threads account will now be visible to other users. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.